Hey guys, this is Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, and you are watching that hashtag show. Ayah! Hey guys, welcome to Geek Essentials. Uh, I'm Brennan Mejia, and I'm going to review the Lightning Collection of uh, myself. So, Dino Charge Red Ranger, uh, first wave of the Lightning Collection from Hasbro Pulse. Super cool toy. I actually brought one that is enclosed, as well as one that's already open, so I don't have to open another one. But uh, as you can see, it looks like me. Maybe you can't see, it's far away. But I love the articulation with these guys. Um, on Instagram, I've seen a lot of people actually put this figure in like handstands as an homage to me doing handstands, which thank you, by the way. But it comes with different pieces, so if you can see in the box, they have different hands, so one's like a flat hand, so hence why they're able to do a handstand. Another's like a fist to punch things. You got the Dino Saber and the Dino Morpher, um, as well as, you know, my human head and a little lightning attachment that goes on the sword, which I have down here. So again, mine has the blaster right now, and here's the sword, which goes in the hand like so, I'm assuming. Um, I haven't actually played with the toy very much, but I did a review on my YouTube channel for it not too long ago. But as you can see, he's pretty articulate. He's flexible, just like uh, hopefully me in life. But, you know, um, the cool thing about it, a lot of people are like, oh, did you go into Hasbro to like get your head scanned or something? And no, they actually did this, I'm assuming off of a picture, maybe video or both. There goes the sword. Uh, just because, um, you know, the, the way that it's sculpted, like, I'm assuming this is from a picture. I'd like to actually find out which picture, but they even have like a little beauty mark above it's my left eyebrow like I do in real life. So there's some pretty crazy detail on these. I have noticed though, with different boxes, the paint job is slightly sometimes hit or miss depending on which one you get. So like this one that I opened has the yellow on the chest emblem painted in. Um, pretty perfectly and there's like a little black speck but that's going to come i'm assuming with any kind of toy that has more detail to it sometimes detail um, is harder to put into every individual version of that toy because there's more to mess up in a sense but in regards to the weight of the toy and everything it just it feels really solid i have a figure art of the kyo Rouge red i should have brought it i'm sorry i didn't and yoshi actually um i guess he did it with the picture too um scanned my head onto the figure art as well so that was cool, I actually kind of had an action figure with my face beforehand, but I accidentally broke the head on it. Um, we won't go there. But yeah, so pulling the head off is a little bit difficult, I have found. Um, people have told me if you use like a blow dryer, I guess, like it kind of heats it up a little bit if you hold it at a distance, that lets the, the joints pop off easier. The wrists aren't too bad, um, you just have to put a little force and just really kind of commit. There it goes, hand came off, hooray. And then just swapping on a new hand. <laughs> it's pretty easy so we'll put on the handstand hand i don't know if i'm cool enough to set up for a handstand though without a prior practice so again just kind of pops in there pretty good you know the hand can spin around again pretty good articulation in the joints and uh you know just like in real life when i wear the actual suit this shoulder piece gets in the way i mean whenever i try to do handstands on set or um, you know because i actually own my own costume now too and i still try to do handstands it's doable but this, like back handsprings, it just stops you because it's, you know, like a, a foam piece attached to the suit. So now that this is made of hard plastic, it also kind of gets in the way of shoulder articulation a little bit. Um, you can also exorcist Tyler fully around 360 degrees. So that's fun, scare your friends. And uh, I believe the head does the same. Yep, yep it does, so that's pretty fun. So again, great articulation in the joints. Um, you can even point the toes, you know, the knees bend, all that kind of good stuff. Um, again, feels pretty solid. If I drop it, I'm not afraid he's gonna like fall to pieces. Um, yeah, so in regards to the build though, if you notice, there's still some muscle definition, which is nice, cause you know, hopefully that's a little true to form. I go to the gym sometimes, but it's not like crazy yoked, like the standard, you know, like Bandai toys, which are slightly shorter and more compact. And uh, you know, they don't really articulate in their movements as well. So I'd almost say, well, I would say this is definitely more of a collectible than a straight up toy. Not that a kid couldn't play with this and that they wouldn't want to, but a fan who is a vintage age like myself, uh, I coined that, you're welcome, um, would also get some enjoyment out of this just because you can set it up. I actually have mine 
when I have this guy at home, he's sitting in the splits uh, on one of my little dressers, just like that, leaning against a couple other mini figures of Dino Supercharge and Rexy. But, uh, oh, by the way, let me see. So here's the helmet. I'm not gonna take the head off because I have issues getting it on. I don't wanna break it, but I don't have a blow dryer. So as you can see, yay, little minor, minor or mini, is what I'm trying to say, down a charge head. I have my helmet. Um, as far as I can sell, tell, it's pretty accurate all the way around. Um, you know, the eyes are green, eyes are green, yellow around for the teeth, um, silver mouthpiece. So obviously it's the Dino Charge helmet, not Dino Supercharge or Dino Drive, um, which has like that black um, all the way across. Um, so there's no silver with the mouthpiece and there's silver around the eyes. It'd be cool if they did other iterations at some point, uh, or maybe even like armor that can switch out. But I've seen people actually like take my civilian head off of this and put it on um, Spider-Man PS4 suit, because I have a suit. So again, they're just like showing it on Instagram. But uh, yeah, oh look, I took the head off. I didn't even mean to. All right, I guess it was easier the second time. Let's see if I can get that helmet back on. I'll try. If it's gonna take too much effort, I'm just gonna stop because I wanna break it. But maybe, maybe. Oh, there it goes. All right, it's not that bad. All right, I just wasn't good at it the first time. So again, helmet on. Um, I'm not gonna put my helmet on, but you see, pretty, pretty good if you ask me. And then, uh, yeah, so pretty much I highly recommend it. Um, I'm not biased at all because it's me. Um, that's a lie. I'm totally biased because it's me. But it is honestly cool. Like, I, to answer your question before you ask, no, I haven't walked into Target and purchased myself and been like, hey, look, it's me. Um, I ordered these online <laughs> through Hasbro and Target uh, just because that was how I reserved them. But I do want to walk into Target and be like, hey, look, it's me. I just haven't done it yet. Um, maybe I'll have a friend like Loki film it if that happens. Kind of like I want to walk into Great Clips because like they sold my picture up in the Great Clips and I was like, that haircut. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, endorsed by me to buy me. So go buy me if you want to have me around in your life, which I don't know why you wouldn't. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And that's all I got for you today.